What's going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shake Seventy Two. Um. Uh, well, I want to talk about the um, the draft coming up, and there's just so much shit going on with this draft that you got. You know, you already got uh, people getting hurt. <clears throat> you got Sidney Jones hurt now. Um, the guy from UCLA or whatever, that's a second rounder. Um, he ended up getting hurt. Um, there's just so much shit going on. We need running back, we need corner, and we need a long, a long we need a franchise wide receiver. Um, and the, and the thing is, I know we got Alshon Jeffrey and Torrey Smith, but, you know, I mean, we need somebody that's very, very young that, you know, could get in there, um, when his time comes. And if, you know, I have... Um, the guy I really like a lot that, you know, of course I love Corey Davis. I love Mike Williams. I like Corey Davis a lot. Um, uh, I really want to go get Zay Jones. Um, he'll be there in the second round. Um, do I think we should get a wide receiver in the second round? Probably. First round, I don't know. I think first round we have to move up and get somebody. I think we have to move up a few spots and get somebody because I don't know who's going to be around. I want Marshawn Lattimore, and we have to move up at least a few spots to go get him. I really want to get him. I don't want him going to the Saints. I don't want him going to. Uh, I don't want him going to the uh, New York Jets. Leonard Fournette's another one where I would love to have him on, on the Eagles. Um, and it's crazy because the Eagles had him in for a visit, which makes no sense because they're 14th, and you know he's going to be gone within the first top six picks of the draft. So I don't know what the route we're going to take. I don't because I, I know that we're going to have a hole this year. We're going to have a hole this year on defense. We're going to have a hole this year on offense. One side of that ball, we're going to have a hole no matter what. Um, I said, and I said this beginning of the season, beginning of the off season, I said this year next year and we'll be good like after the next season coming up we'll be fine we'll have all the holes filled and now it's all about personnel who's doing good who's doing bad uh, or you know or whatever um but that's it really i mean you got you got zay jones wide receiver i would definitely pick him he could be a number two a number two our, our future number th he could be a i mean whatever whatever it is because, God forbid, Alshaw Jeffrey or fucking Torrey Smith gets hurt, then what? Then we're stuck with DGB and Nelson Aguilar. So, unless Aguilar pulls out, uh, has a stellar season next year, which we thought we was going to have this year. But, I have no idea. I'm, I'm never going to, well, we're never going to know um, until something happens. But, I'm praying that these guys stay healthy. Um, I'm praying that these guys stay healthy. Um, I'd love to get Fournette. I think Dalvin Cook is out of range now. I think he's going to be turning into a second rounder now because he might not be as good as everyone thought he is. I mean, he is a good player, but on the college level, yeah. Um, he's projecting going to the second round of the draft. Um, Leonard Fournette I'd go pick up, and uh, running back-wise, I'd go pick up Leonard Fournette and then go get a nice fucking corner in the second round. Um, I definitely do that. I definitely move up in the first round and go get Marshawn Lattimore. We're gonna have to move up. I want to move up to get a player to get a top fucking pick in the draft. But the problem is, is that we might have to give up either our second pick this year or our first round pick next year because next year we need to have either our first or a second round pick. Because next year we don't even have a second round pick. We only got a first round pick because of the um, uh, the the Carson Wentz uh, moving up to the second pick to get Carson Wentz. So we lost the second round pick um, to the Browns. So only with a first round pick next year. So I don't know. To move up a few spots, I think it's worth it. To fill a corner spot and we don't have to worry about it. A young fucking kid from Ohio State, Marshawn Lattimore, go get him. Um It makes it harder when Sidney Jones gets hurt. Uh with uh I forgot the other guy's name. I, I I was saying his name for weeks and then I just forgot from UCLA, I think, or I forgot. He ends up getting hurt, not as bad as Sidney Jones, but he ends up getting hurt. And then you got Joe Mixon's another guy, which he's Joe Mixon's top of my list, but off the field issues, are, are we going to deal with that? Is he going to turn into another Johnny Manziel? Um, I don't know. Joe Mixon has, the guy has everything. The guy's got, he's got the speed. He can catch the ball in the backfield. He can, he's elusive. Um... 
he uh, inflicts punishment upon people coming at, uh, uh, coming to tackle him. Um, he's got everything. Um, it's just the off the field issues, and the Eagles are bringing him in to work out. So they're really. I've noticed that the Eagles are evalu- evaluating these running backs um, very closely, and you now they're between you know Dalvin Cook and then you know everybody. It's it's they're they're evaluating these running backs very closely and, and really showing that they really want to get a running back and they're they're I, I'm not sold on Wendell Smallwood I'm not I think he's a good rotational back I don't think he's gonna be the next you know I don't think he's a three down back plus he's fumbled the fucking ball plus he got hurt this year um and missed a few games and not even just the regular season he got hurt in the fucking preseason we were all kind of excited to see our third round pick fucking start running the ball and see what he has but didn't play until like the last game. He was only in for a few fucking steps. So, you know, that's where I'm heading towards this draft. But honestly, I don't know what to do. I don't know what they should do. I thought they should have signed at least. They should have. They, they, they need to at least get an edge rusher this year. They need to go sign a, an edge rusher. We need an edge rusher. Um, we don't got Benny Logan anymore. I don't think they, they shouldn't have let him fucking walk. But... It is what it is, money-wise. He wanted a big contract, whatever. Whatever the hell the whole story is. Um, but honestly, I... Honestly, when we have Alshon Jeffrey and Torrey Smith on the field, it, any running back is going to do pretty damn well because, honestly, it's going to open up a lot because you got Torrey Smith, you got fucking Ertz, you got Jordan Matthews, and you got Carson Wentz just standing there with the ball, and he's got a pair of legs on him. So any running back that stands in there should do all right. Should do at least all right. Not great, but should open up some holes, spread out the defense a little bit, open up you know, some things in the back end. But Wendell Smallwood, I'm not sold on. Running back, I, I know we need it. I want a franchise running back. I just want it done already. I want a corner more than a running back, but dude, like the... The running backs for the first round, like you got Christian, you got McCaffrey, and then you got Fournette, Dalvin Cook. I'm picking Fournette or McCaffrey, honestly. Um, uh, Fournette's just a ground and pound, one cut runner. Um, you know, he'll, he'll hit you and he'll hurt you. And that's that's about it. I know, like, us and the Philly Knights, and uh, we've been talking about, you know, like, Reuben Foster coming to Philly, you know, maybe that Alabama linebacker will do some good for us, but even getting him, cool, we, we get him, but at the same time, like, that's a spot we could have filled with that pick, um, you know what I mean? They should have signed a, a tier... Linebacker, I've linebacker. They should have signed a, a middle tier corner in free agency. At least somebody. I don't care if it was Morris Claiborne. I don't care if it was this uh, uh, Logan Ryan. I mean, somebody. I mean, I didn't care who it was. At least a middle tier guy because Nolan Carroll went to the Cowboys. <laughs> and um, we let go of McKelvin beginning of the offseason. So honestly, corner wise, we're going to blow ass this year. I'm not, and I'm not going to. I'm not even going to get mad about it because, honestly, if we start whatever we're starting... I, Ron Brooks actually did pretty good. I mean, he got hurt, but he actually did pretty good last year. Um, and then after he got hurt uh, during the Vikings game, and then we we just fell apart after that. Um, royally fell apart the corner spot. Um, I'm glad Nolan Carroll's gone, but at least it was somebody, if he was there, he would do halfway okay decent, where, like, yeah, he wins some, he'd lose some, whatever. But... um. I'll have more videos about this draft and what the fuck we're going to be doing. But from what it looks like, they're evaluating the running back more than any other position right now. Um, Because they know that this cornerback, this corner is a corner is deep in this draft. And you never know. It's a crapshoot. You never know if you're going to get a bust. You never know if you're going to get somebody that's going to do really well in this league for a third round pick, a fourth round pick, or... You know what I mean? You're not going to find the Richard Shermans. They're a dime a dozen. They're they are guys that you just you just get lucky in the draft. You don't know who you're going to get. I mean, you know who you're going to get. You know what you get out of that player, but you don't know on uh, to the NFL stage level. You have no idea what's going to bring out to him. So 
Move up in the draft and get a player. We need a top talent that's, that can start immediately and that will produce immediately. Not none of this, oh, in two years he'll be something. In three years he'll be something. Ah, give him another year. Give him his rookie year was horrible. So, you know, we're not going to do this again. I don't want to do this again. Move up and get Marshawn Lattimore. Move up and get Leonard Fournette. Something. I don't even care what it is. But they got to do something. Running back corner. Get Zay Jones in the second round. Then go get fucking Marshawn Lattimore in the first round. I don't really don't fucking care. As long as you address running back and corner the first two fucking picks, I'm down with it. But it's going to cost us to move up in the draft. So whatever Howie Roseman can get away with, Joe Douglas can get away with, I hope they do the right thing. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Go Birds. See you guys.